I am Roshana Funk, and I will be evaluating the spiral of silence theory by Elizabeth Noel Newman. Whether it is in the conversations we have inside our own families, or it is agreeing slash not agreeing with the government on hot topic issues in the public, the spiral of silence theory is relevant in everything we do and say. Will we speak up with a dissenting opinion, or will we keep quiet so we do not feel isolated from a group? These are the questions the spiral of silence theory attempts to explain. The spiral of silence theory, SOS, facilitates our understanding as to why we do not speak up when we have differing opinions than the group public who we are communicating with. The media has tremendous power regarding this theory and how public opinion is formed. Mass media and majority opinion work concurrently to suppress the minorities around us on many issues. Think about how the media depicts our current president, if you agree with him or not. This issue is a splitting issue in our country at this current time. Many people who do support President Trump are afraid to speak out for fear of isolation and the repercussions that will come once they do speak openly to support his ideals and policies. The theory posits that communication takes one of two different forms regarding public behavior. Either we will speak out on the subject or keep silent. The strength of one camp signals or weakness of the others is the driving force setting the spiral in motion. In some, people seem to act according to how other people feel. Weston Turner, 2018. This media is the most powerful part of the theory since they use tools to only show what the media deems necessary. This can cause an unreal view of the world giving the majority a false sense of what is happening. Ariel, 2014. The spiral of silence theory combines mass media, social psychology, and the shaping of public opinion. Elizabeth Noel Newman, 1916 to 2010, was born in Germany. Noel Newman had an illustrious career in the study of philosophy, history, journalism, and American studies that in turn caused her to investigate and research often. Noel Newman has been credited with making and understanding this theory. It has become so important for our lives in many different places, the mass media being the biggest, EA 2015. The seven criteria for evaluation came in handy to help us know what and how this theory is understood and how it is used in the public. And it also helps us to understand why. Its strengths include parsimony. The spiral of silence theory is simple and easy to understand. Heurism. This theory helps us to understand why people are unable to express their own opinions if they are amongst the minority. Testability. This theory has been tested over and over and still comes to the same conclusion time and time again. Test of time. Though the SOS theory has been added to, it still has been proven to be true after so many years. Utility. The spiral of silence is a practical in everything we do in life. Its weaknesses include logical consistency. The SOS does not acknowledge a person's ability to act out of ego. And scope. Noel Newman used the media in Germany of the 1940s to first envision the spiral of silence theory. During this time, most people who were in the minority would keep their opinions to themselves due to the fact that the consequences of speaking out were horrible, such as prison camps and etc. The spiral of silence theory today is still very credible and useful. After the Italian presidential elections of 2013, Christina Malspina questioned why the polls could not predict the success of the Five Star Movement. She quotes, Arguably, such an ability to predict patterns is due to the various factors such as the presence of new politicians, a strong sentiment of discontent toward Italian politics, the intrinsic methodological deficiencies of opinion polls, which primarily draw their conclusions from telephone calls, and the high percentage of undecided voters. An un important reason for the unreliability of the polls is also a widespread refusal of voters to declare their political affiliations, something that can be ascribed to the phenomenon of the spiral of silence." Unquote. Such questions prove the SOS theory and show that it remains relevant today. It continues to be tested and again proven to be true even in our own presidential elections here in the United States of America. A study done by a group of people named Kushin, Yamamoto, and Dallas Day, who are social media researchers, questioned the United States. 
2016 presidential election. The results were intriguing. They found that people were more willing to stand up for the minority due to the ability to be anonymous. This is what Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram can provide. They state, as political polarization increases in the United States, social media sites such as Facebook and Twitter can afford people greater ability to select with whom they interact online, which may create a filter bubble that limits what information they are exposed to. Kushin Yamamoto, Dallas Day, 2019. This means if public, legal, societal, and socio-psychological concerns of people feel they have a place to make their standing, they will speak out. And 2017, another study was done regarding social media by Max Knoll and von Skykorsky. They found, as they researched proof, that the SOS happens even more rapidly due to social media now. They quote, a study done in 2015 posited new media, particularly blogs, social media, and gallopy mobile phone technologies are changing media use patterns and reshaping the arc of effects. Social media plays a big part in changing tides of this theory. While it is still relevant, there is much to be added to in order to help this theory remain relevant. In order to continue to make the spiral of silence theory relevant today, we should take what the theory was made from, the interplay with the media, newspapers, and other media outlets in Germany after World War II, and put those ideas together with current interactions with the public and mass media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, the news, etc. And as they are mixed, we would see that each supports the other, with making them both credible still today. Understanding that dissenting opinions are not bad within our circles, they allow a more rounded conversation filled with differing opinions. It is hard to speak up when you are a minority. Many feel that with our ability of the public to use more digital methods to agree or disagree, we have a more streamlined approach to understanding the spiral of silence theory. As we understand, we need not be afraid to speak up because dissension is the way better things come about. Media is an essential tool to help us comprehend the meaning of life around us. The spiral of silence theory shows us the reason behind how we feel. It is up to us to change the thought and move past it. Thank you.